what happened here today was my dumb butt was uh, hammering on our uh, new uh, our new uh, boat anchor and uh, trying to accomplish something and broke it in half. I thought, man, what could I do? Could I hose clamp them together? Could I? Uh, can't weld them. Cast iron. Uh, brand new anchor. We've only used it once. Uh, we're fixing to go to the lake again, so and we really need this anchor right now. So I had a quick fix in mind. What I decided to do was uh, drill into both ends and uh, thread it and put a piece of all thread in. And uh, uh, while we're uh, drilling and threading and tapping, uh, I wanted to bring up here this uh, handy dandy tool that I get from Matco called Thread File. Three piece uh, thread restore file set. Uh, this has got four thread pitches per side, so that's eight, so that's 24 all together because it's a three piece. And this right here is really good for, uh, the only thing I don't like about this tool is I don't get to use it often enough. So you find whatever pitch your thread is, whatever matches your thread, and uh, you can use it to clean up. Like if uh, this was messed up, if I had the, the right pitch, looks like that might be it right there. And you can use it to straighten up file, uh, threads. Um, everybody needs this and a set of taps. Notice I didn't say tap and die set, because I don't think I've ever had a use for a die. Except maybe once or twice. But uh, this right here will save you in a pinch. A little bit of lube there, and uh, got a tap, the same size as the piece of all thread that I found in here. Same width, same thread pitch. Okay. And uh, I drilled the hole out uh, an eighth inch, then quarter inch, and then full size, and then now. I put a little lube in it, and then now I'm going to run the bottom end tap. See, it's flat on the end. It'll give you threads almost to the bottom. So, and I pressed the nut on here, even though I do have the socket set to, for uh, driving a tap. Let's see how good this goes. How good this works. Oh. I'll clamp it up a little tighter. the hole out and then I will use uh, some Loctite on it to put both, uh, both, uh, both halves together. Yep, it's going to work just fine. Brake part cleaner. all the oil out of it because uh, I'm going to put Loctite in there. All right, what I'm going to do now is uh, I prefer the red because uh, I don't plan on taking this apart ever. This is all I have right now, so it's going to have to work. That's, this is Loctite. So, put it all down in the hole. Put this in.
Take the other half. Now they're going together. You want to get this? Yeah. I'm tightening them up. It's really not that hard to do. Um, I can already see where I did not drill the hole straight because uh, my the shaft, both halves are off centered. <laughs> there. See, look at that. So that's why it's important to get your holes in the very center. When you're drilling down through here, get your holes in the very center and keep them straight, straight, straight. So you don't end up with this. 